today we are going to talk about a repository in ab initio so that is called eme enterprise meta environment or it is called a technical repository tr okay technical repository so like in any other source uh, source files right like java or dot net we have eclipse or version control so similarly we have a repository uh, called eme or technical repository for to store and you know uh, control the versioning and all those things in checking checkouts check in etc etc we have an enterprise meta environment okay so if you hook up to the you know this window so the so there is an separate location where all the objects objects in the sense of ab initio objects like like uh, you know project p sets or p sets you know and uh, mp file you know graphs and corresponding scripts and dml right dot dml file dot xfr files plan p set and uh, any other script which is available in min directory or any other uh, you know common components or customized components or subgraphs etc etc so every object can be stored uh, and versioned in the eme so whenever we check in a new a new uh, new thing i mean we will modify and check in the new object the uh, next version or different version is getting created and we can retrieve the older versions also okay so what are the different task we can uh, as a developer we can uh, do you know we have to do for the eme you know so there are you know check in check outs right check in in the sense of we import the object into the technical repository we check out first thing is we we create the project we check check out the project and we create the respective sandbox for particular user and then user you know lock the object and try to modify or it creates the new object and then it try to finalize it after you know testing or any other technical testing and then it getting checked in and that object goes into the eme repository similarly when we promote the code right from one environment to another so we need to take uh, multiple objects then we take the objects and then try to deploy that tag into the different technical technical repository like from the dev technical repository to the uh, to the test test repository or from test to the production repository right so that kind of promotion uh, activities we need to do on the second checkout mostly happens on daily basis the tagging probably can happen on daily or maybe by twice a week right the promotion process maybe in 15 within a 15 days one time right so the depending upon the release cycle or you know the development activities we do so those kind of activities we need to do other admin activities like creating the repository so this is the first thing we create the repository you know whenever we create a new projects we create the repository for that specific project and then adjust the user permissions so who can access you know that repository or who can access that particular object in that particular repository or the logs and all so whenever sometimes you might observe right people uh, try to log the object and then try to modify it right? so sometimes people you know log it and then they forgot to check in or forgot to release the log then we need to break the log right as a other team member or any other you know admin this kind of admin activity but if we have access to release the log we can also break the log right as a developer so these kind of activities we you try to do so with respect to the setup right as a configuration what we need to do before we could be running so there is an there are different you know useful commands actually eme so there is an a, a command line interface so using those commands we can interact with the eme technical repository so there are multiple commands that we are going to see one by one 
you know some useful important commands we are going to see but before that what needs to be set up before we can run those you know commands so that we 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 have to check so first of all we need to have the ab initio you know ab initio environment setup so right we we need to have the ab home so where our you know ab initio is you know governing system is uh, installed so that path we need to give and export that you know parameter in the in the you know environment and then let's we have a linux based environments so what we need to do is we need to export this ab home the path of of the ab initio installation then we can export the path variable wherein we we include that you know ab home you know and then export that path okay so we need to include that ab home into the path uh, variable and after that we need to, if you want to check the version of the ab initio environment installation then we can check using this command m underscore env hyphen v so this will give the version of the ab initio installation okay and then there is another parameter which is called ab initio ab ar root so this uh, this is the location of the our eme installation or eme repository installed location okay so this is there okay and then there is an if we have a cross uh, uh, cross environments like operating system version e 4.1 or uh, or eme version is like 4.2 or you know there is a different then we need to export this uh, parameter also aba home so this is a different thing okay so once you do that so if you export this aba root then you can you can check the connectivity or the setup of the eme while uh, you know running one command which is called ar ls so once you do the ar ls you will have you know the output like directory six elements directory data profiler and last one is directory ab initio these kind of so there will be one, uh, six elements one is this second third fourth fifth sixth so these kind of output you will see so that's if this is come this is coming then you you sell the understanding let our eme setup is proper right we are able to execute we can connect we can check out check in we can create the tag we can do anything from the command line or we can communicate to the eme repository from our command line interface right so let's hook up to the different uh, you know ir commands wherein uh, you know what different activities we can perform as a developer or as, a, or as an admin uh to the ab initio eme right so let's hook up to that so we will have a so this is let's say this eme is something looks like a kind of database wherein we have stored every object right so first thing what we do it we check out the project actually so what we do is air project export is the command so where wherein we have, let's say we have a eme project path we need to give here and then best directory then we need to give the sandbox path which we are going to create for our or user specific path right and then if we have a common uh, you know common uh, let's say for a project um, private project we could have a public project also public sandbox is right public so those path or em respective eme path we need to give and the dry run so the dry run, dry run right, it's actually it checks the uh, dependency or uh, the syntax and everything so it it doesn't physically it doesn't you know check out the objects but it does you know dry run you know the it checks the you know settings it checks the possibility of this command right so if you dry run and it comes successful in the sense of this command is perfect and we can try executing that command so in the next time when we actually run this we can omit this dry run keyword and then the actual uh, checkout process happens and our sandbox is getting created and other common sandbox is also getting created so our private project is getting created that is called a sandbox right for a respective user so these are the different parameters we need to provide to uh, run the checkout so this checkout is like this is this is called export in the sense of we are creating a project or a, we are creating the sandbox for a particular uh you know to working on some other, some project right so when we start working on some project we do the checkout operation first and then 
then the parameter setting and all you know overriding everything so those kind of thing this is the process of you know start working in ab initio actually we, we check out the project we set the parameters we override the parameters or any other different settings depending upon a specific project we need to do and then we try to uh, install the jde and then we try to configure the GAD connect connectivity you know cooperation to connectivity and then the application hub those all those things we need to need to set up and then prepare to start working on any project second thing is after we check out we lock the we lock the object right there is a command line in gd we through that we can you know lock or we can lock from command line also you know any if you want to lock the object so lock the object in before we initiate to modify any particular object which is already there in the technical repository we need to log first and then try to modify and then save it and then try to check in once you do the check in you can perform these check in and check out activity from the gde you know from the user interface gui or from the command line interface using these commands air project import then eme path of the project and then the base directory if you do that then you can check in every object which is uh, there in the, uh, which is modified anyway, or if you have a new pro uh, object is created that also can be checked in right so these are the two important commands and then we will have you know next command like air tag create i said right whenever we need to promote any code from one environment to another we tag the multiple objects and we create a tag and we'll hand over that tag to the promoting uh, team or you know or if we have a right super mode then also we can promote it right so we can create the tag we need to give the tag name and eme path of the project if you want to tag entire object you know all the files you know which is there in the project if you want to tag everything so then we can specify this air this first line command air tag create tag name eme path of the project and then all the required file all required this is the keyword basically so if you specify this every object is getting tagged in using the this tag name so you need to give the tag name so this tag name is depending upon you know the uh, the so there are uh, for a specific projects right we will have you know different uh, naming convention for a tag also right so uh, depending on the project or depending upon the requirement we can give it that. so if we need to uh, create a tag for a specific you know object then we can create a tag create and this mp file is getting you know added into the you know added into the this tag okay and if we create the tag create this one file file if we have a tag file in the sense we have let's say we have a text file we created in that text file we have a uh, we have a multiple objects let's say three objects we need to tag it and so rather than specifying over here you know one by one we need to put all the objects in file and then we will tag all those uh, all those you know objects into the this uh, tag so we will specify here tag create this tag name and file and this file name so this file name will be containing the path of the eme path of the objects one by one right okay in one line the first objects in second lines so and the path of the eme actually so these are the tag create command these are three variant of it right there are multiple other variants also that also we can see you can see in the helpline right then if you want to delete the tag you know air tag delete then tag name right? this is simple some why we delete the tag if we have created tag wrongly so then we need to create the rather than you know uh, uh, making um, wrong you know and if we were created wrongly right so rather than you know making uh, eme you know to, to track the that version right which is wrongly created so we don't want to do that so we will just create the tag uh, delete the tag or if we want to recreate the tag with the same name then also we delete the tag and then create the tag with the same name or if we want to duplicate the tag sometimes we need to uh, create a duplicated tag right? Right, that also can be done right existed tag and new tag air tag duplicate and uh, air tag freeze freeze in the sense of sometimes or what happens is once any particular tag is deployed into the production 
we don't want to delete or we don't want to perform any operation on that tag so therefore as a security purpose we freeze that tag so that none, nobody can modify that tag nobody can you know remove that tag right from at the any other repository so that you know tag we freeze it so many and times you know in different projects like what we do is we just deploy the tag and this the tag is getting uh, let's say we are de uh, in development environment we have created the tag 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 one and we deployed that tag into the testing environments after the deployment and checkout happens and the tag got you know free frozen so this tag cannot be removed right so this is security and maintenance purpose and uh, other thing is air tag difference tag one tag one if we have some let's say we have created two uh, tags for a successive successive you know um, successive uh, implementation right we have implementation uh, number 1.1 .1 and 1.2 is another implementation we have a common object let's say right modified so if you want to take the difference what is the difference between uh, tag 1 and tag 2 we can take the difference you know so it will dis display all those which is which has the difference and it, the version of those you know object versions okay so that we can dig more deeper so what what is the difference between those two objects and all first we get the difference in tags and then we'll get the difference between objects right okay and then object version so sometimes we need to go back to the previous version of the object right so we we will what we will do is we we have a tag name and we want to see the versions of all the objects within that tag is like we can specify air tag object versions for, uh, this is the tag name so okay so what what it will display is it will display all the objects and their versions respective version number okay air log show user username right so let's say username is data pandit so all the objects if you want to see which is logged by data pandit we can specify air log show user data pandit right so every object which is logged by myself you know will, will be displayed and another uh, command is air lock break project eme path of the project user data pandit user trust so there are two users and we want to break all those locks which are you know done by data pandit and trust those these two people who have logged let, let's say multiple objects in this project this project let's say two objects is locked by this one and two object is locked by trust so all the four logics we want to four object lock we want to bracket so we can specify this command and it will be broken right so similarly we have a <coughs> we have you know creation of the branch we have said right so this is in kind of admin admin uh, activity basically so if you want to create the branch here branch create this is the name of the branch and want to create the from the version so we will need to give the version from that version we need to create this particular branch then title of the branch we can branch for release this one so sometimes what we need to do is there are two teams working on the same you know yeah, same project so they, what we can do is rather than we will have a main branch we can create separate separate branch for two development teams and then they guys uh, can do the development in branch one and branch two and then we try to merge those branches you know later on so that kind of activities uh, when we need to uh, you know manage multiple teams and all so that kind of um, uh, requirement we can perform so the this is all, all about some eight to nine command we have gone through right so um, similarly we can you know similarly we can use uh, other commands also right there are multiple commands basically so sometimes in later we will see other commands also so this is the brief about eme technical repository basically so thank you so much please subscribe my channel and we will see multiple uh, other uh, you know important concept with respect to abinition advanced abinition aws right thank you so much